Okay, everybody, I'm back. I got a little Cummins engine uh, 6BT trick for the lifters. Everybody always tries to figure out, you know, like rubber bands or some type of clamp or even the wood dowels. So if you take out your push rods and you're at the side cover, so I was trying to hold all the lifters up at one time. Well, the best method I thought was to take a magnetic strip for like sockets and pull them up and then put the magnetic strip holding them. Check this bad boy out. Okay, so I got, my magnetic strip is right here. It won't go the length of all the lifters, but one. So you can see what I got here. I've already put the camshaft back in, but so when I pulled it out, I had one left. So I just took a regular, you know, magnet. See how it dropped down? Now. They're all in, cam's back in, so now I can pull the magnetic strip out. Check this out. And now they're all going down, see? The magnetic strip held them up overnight. So, you know, if rubber bands and all that stuff, if you got it, I mean, that's okay. But check, you know, that's, that's what I'd use. I use the magnetic strip. This one's made, you know, Snap-on brand or Matco, they all make these strips, you can even buy them at Harbor Freight. But, uh, so, as you can see the engine behind me, the uh, magnetic strip, this thing right here, it's pretty ha handy for that. I was, I was struggling for a second. I was like, man, I ain't got that many clamps to hold it up. So, if you've got one laying around the shop or you want to go purchase one, because I've even got the wood dowels that they tell you to drive down in the uh, lifters and pull them up, but even that was a pain in the butt course this I used it with the cover off on the lifter uh, cover tap it cover whatever so but if you're not gonna pull that cover off and you've got to do it then obviously you gotta put the dowels in and pull it up that way but this method I thought was a lot better but till the next time